Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. This is Loli. Today I bring you three beautiful fall DIYs using Dollar Tree products. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And enjoy! Now let's create a beautiful centerpiece. I started by using three of these trays from Dollar Tree. I sanded them well and dust them off. And then I'm going to go ahead and figure out exactly the placement on this. So I want to put two on the bottom and one at the top. But I need to play around with the placement because none of these are the same. So I'm trying to find the best fit of two together. Once I did that, I took some wood glue that I found from Dollar Tree and I'm adding that. And then I'm going to also take some wood hot glue and I'm going to add it as well to create that immediate hole. Then I took both of them and pressed them firmly together until they were completely adhered. Now I'm going to add the one on the top and I did the same thing. I'm using a combination of wood glue and wood hot glue to adhere it. Then I took the third crate and positioned it right in the middle of the other two and placed it, hold it in place firmly until it was dry. Then I came in with some of this wood hot glue and I'm just filling in the cracks to ensure that the adherence is nice and strong and I'm just going to scrape off any excess glue to have this as smooth as possible and I did the same thing with the horizontal and the vertical lines. Unfortunately, this was still uneven, so I came in with some lightweight spackle from Dollar Tree and I'm just filling in the cracks and putting it in any places that were uneven to make sure that I had a nice, clean and smooth surface. Friends, so this video is part of our collaboration that we have two beautiful... As you see right here, I had to take quite a lot of spackle to make this nice and smooth and even. I just use a potty knife to help me. Once this was drying, I took some of these tumbling towel blocks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to create some risers. So what I did is I took three groups of four. So I glued together four tumbling towel blocks and I did that three times. And this is to create the top section of my risers. Then I took some more tumbling towel blocks and I'm going to create groups of two. So I stuck together using some wood glue, two tumbling towel blocks using the skinniest side to adhere them. And I created six of them. Actually, I created eight, but I only used six. I just got carried away watching TV. But you're only going to use six. Now I took some of these popsicle sticks from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut them in half and glue them onto the little holes on the sides of the crate, so the little handles, to cover those up. And I just added a combination of wood glue and wood hot glue to do that. And I did it on all four of the openings. And this is how we're looking so far. Then I sanded down the spackle, but then of course, Miss Chloe Ann, this is what she did. Chloe Ann, Mama, why are you in my craft table? Chloe Ann, no, you're gonna knock it down. You like my piece? Chloe. <laughs> Mama, no. Ay, ay, ay. Chloe Ann, no, don't knock down the glasses. Little girl. Why must you be there right now, honey? Hmm? Baby? I'm oh, my baby girl. What are you doing? Hmm? Are you gonna let me finish crafting? Young lady. Young lady. Thank you. 
Baby girl. Mama, baby girl. Chloe and. What you doing? Mira, flaca. Bájate de allí, flaca. Mira, flaca. Princess left. I took some of this burnt amber paint from Apple Barrel and I'm going to completely cover the entire piece with two coats and I put it to the side to dry. And now I'm going to put together my little risers. So I took two of the pairs of two and I'm adding some wood glue and some wood hot glue and we are going to adhere it to the one of the pieces that are four to create like a little bench looking riser. And I repeated this process three times. Here they are. Then I took some of this white paint and I painted it with three coats, all three of them. Here they are. And then we are going to add these to our little um, wood thingy that we made earlier. And I'm gluing them using some of the wood glue and the wood hot glue as well. Then we are going to take some floral foam from Dollar Tree and we are going to put it all around all the empty spaces. Now I took some of these floral picks from Dollar Tree and we are going to add them all around here. And first I started with these sunflowers and then I came in with this other picks from Dollar Tree that has a pumpkin, a pine cone and a sunflower. And I just cut them into small pieces and spread them around as I best like them. So I just it had some of those little cattails looking be beaded or berry looking thingies there as well. So I placed those as well and trying to like keep the symmetry. So if I put one in one side, I put another one in the other side. And then I took a, a variety of different boxwoods and they fall from Dollar Tree as well. And they have like a little um, cream color and one green that's kind of like changing leaf colors and I added those in between and I just kept adding until I was happy with what I saw just trying to keep it balanced and full at the same time then I'm going to take those candle holders that Chloe Ann was so fond of and I'm going to put them on the risers in between all of these flowers little risers we made there and these is perfect you just said perfect i love the height and i love the texture that this glass also gives to this piece then i added in some of these tea light candles from dollar tree in soft white and this is finished up the whole project guys let me know what you think My friends, today's video is para la coloration. It is hosted by Aurea from DIY with Aurea, Ray from One With Designs 238, myself, Loli from Loli Days Creations, and the guest host this month is Uriel from Gazelle Creative Studio and Gwen from At Home with Gigi. A link to our channels and to the playlist will be linked in the description box below and also pin in the comments. Don't forget to stop by and show everyone some love. And for our next inspiration today, I will be using one of these reed forms from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to also use one of these, actually two rolls of this burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree. We loop the end of the ribbon onto the last piece on the bracket on there and glued it on with some hot glue. And then I'm going to wrap this ribbon completely around the entire reed form, just be, being very careful of having the same spacing. And as soon as I get to the end of this ribbon, I'm going to tack it down at the back on there. And then I'm going to take my second roll and start it exactly where this last roll ended. And I'm going to continue wrapping it until it's completely done. Here, I'm going to do something a bit different. I'm going to create a hanger using the same ribbon. So here I'm measuring to see exactly how much I'm going to need. 
once I see exactly how much I need I'm going to take one of these wooden rings from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use it as a hanger so what I did is I cut off the excess burlap then I loop that ring through the burlap or the burlap through the ring I should say and then we are going to go ahead and tack it down I'm going to let you see that part it will be a lot easier to watch than to, for me to explain but I'm going to give it a shot so I tack down the piece of burlap right there at the back as you see right there make sure that that was nicely adhered make sure to use some other finger protection so you don't burn yourself then you will see that I loop the ring inside onto that burlap fabric and I'm leaving some space in between and then the excess I am folding it towards the front and I'm going to let a piece be a little bit hanging down and then loop it towards the back and I'm going to put a generous amount of hot glue on that section and press it down until it is nicely adhered. If you notice there, I made a mistake. I glue, I grabbed the wrong glue gun. That, things like this happen to me all the time, guys. And here in the front, you see how it's looking. I do want to tack down the front as well, but I'm going to only add some hot glue to the little seams only and a thin amount and I'm going to be very careful and deliberate on how I'm going to press this down in order to make sure that it's a clean look. Then I'm going to take one of these wood round signs from Dollar Tree and I'm going to just remove the hanger and attach it with some hot glue right onto the reed form. My friends, if you have not done so yet, please don't consider subscribing. It is free and it means the world to me. And don't forget to hit the not notification bell so YouTube notifies you each time that I upload a video. All these things are very help my channel grow and I truly appreciate them. All right, guys. So next I'm going to take some of this green ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree and I'm going to create a double loop bow. As you see there, I'm just rolling it, you know, going, putting them in like in a slant and crisscrossing the ribbons until I end up with two tails and two little loops for the bow. I should say two loops for each side of the bow. Then I took some jute cord and I tied it in the middle to complete my bow. Then I took a couple of these sunflowers from Dollar Tree and I'm going to add it to the top section there at each side of the bow. I just bent the flowers towards the front. I just, you know, bent the little wire that comes there. Just so everything will be looking in the same direction. And then I'm going to take a nice dollop of hot glue and put it right in the bottom there and place my bow into place. And then I'm going to see exactly where I want to put my sunflowers. Once I know exactly their placement, I'm just going to add a dollop of hot glue there. Here, obviously it was a little bit too long. So I just cut off the stem a little bit. I didn't want it to carry over to the other side. And then I'm just going to glue it with some hot glue. Friends, this week, or last week actually, Gwen from At Home with Gigi and Aurea from DIY with Aurea had a birthday. So make sure you head on over to the channels, show them a lot of love, and wish them a very happy birthday. Once those were secured nicely, I'm going to take a third sunflower and I'm going to place it right there at the middle of the bow. But in order to do that, I cut off that stem that connect to the bush before or to the stem. I cut off the stem pluggy thingy. And I'm going to add that with a generous amount of hot glue to the middle section of my bow. And just like that, guys, this one is finished. Let me know what you think. The next inspiration is a true fail. I made this in 1950. I'm just kidding, but a while ago. And I just got around to doing this part. I didn't completely finish it. So now I'm going to go ahead and actually finish it. So I'm going to take, this is a lantern I was trying to work on. And I like the buffalo check, but it didn't work out the way that I expected. So now I'm taking these little drawer, um, the core pieces from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to place them at the top of this to create a more elaborate topping for this, um, uh, what do you call it? 
Chica Machiga, Lantern. <laughs> I can't find my words. But anyway, guys, I applied some wood hot glue to the bottom of the biggest piece. I'm using the biggest piece available and the medium piece for this DIY. And I'm using, um, I'm making sure to use, I'm doing two of these. You only see me working on one, but there's two of them. And I'll show you both of them together at the end. So then I'm taking the second one here and I am gluing it at the top of the larger one to create that little staggered smaller effect and give this a little bit more height. So this was put out, this was actually put together pretty nicely. I had um, used some dowel rods from Walmart and some shadow boxes from Dollar Tree to create that first structure you see there. Now here I'm creating some feet for it. And these are little apples that come from Dollar Tree and just removing the little stem that it comes on the middle. Some of them came out whole, some of them broke off and I had to like, you know, rock off the extra pieces of wood to make sure that it was nice and flush. So I did that and I'm attaching the little feet using some wood glue and some wood hot glue for the immediate hole. I just use a skewer to remove any excess glue from the little edges right there. And here we go. Then I'm going to take some of, I'm going to actually take off these little pieces from the front. We are going to save them and put them to the side. I'm going to attach them afterwards. Then I'm taking this spray paint. I'm going to take this outside and give it two form coats with that paint and in the meantime, while that dries, I'm going to take these two reed forms from Dollar Tree and we are going to wrap them with this burlap fabric or burlap ribbon until they're completely covered. I repeated this with both of the reed forms. Once both of those were covered, I'm going to come in with these um, picks from Dollar Tree they come with a cattail, a pine cone, a pumpkin, and two sunflowers. I prefer to use the color orange. I think it will pop really nicely against that black lantern. And what I did here was, you know, cut apart each one of the picks into individual pieces. And I'm going to just place them as best as I like them on here. I left some stems to be a little bit long so I can feed through that stem through the burlap fabric and I can hot glue it at the back of the reed form. And I did this. I used a total of two picks for each one of these rounds. I also used these sunflowers from Dollar Tree. I used one pick for each one of the rounds. Just put it in three separate sections of the round just to bring that element of yellow into this as well and give this an even stronger pop of color against that beautiful black surface. And here it is how it's looking so far. I just continue adding more of those elements from the pick until I was happy with the fullness and just making sure to alternate between pumpkins and pine cones and colors in between. Just trying to bring as much texture and as much color as possible and giving this a nice full look. Then I came in with some of this leftover greenery that I got from a different pick that I used for a different project. And I just added in there just to add another, you know, a different pop of color and a different kind of flowers to make this a little bit richer. Here in the back, you can see how I had bent all the stems over. So I was able to hold the pieces exactly where I wanted them. And here I'm adding hot glue on there, keeping it in place. And then once that glue set, I'm going to come back with my little snips and cut off all the extra stems off for these. And there you go. This is what it looks like. Now we are going to come back to our lantern and I'm going to reposition the little plaques that I took off from the middle. I really love the way that this brass color played against the black. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this back in. 
and then just wait a second to see how cute this is gonna look and bam look at that perfect fit and look at the beautiful colors against the black i absolutely love this now i took this candle i had this for years guys i had it already on this little lantern i hadn't finished it but i still had the candle going on so i'm going to position it back on there as well and it's just perfect for fall i popped in a battery operated votive candle and that's all she wrote look at this look how cute i made two of these and you'll see them both very shortly and here we go with the final reveal don't forget to let me know which one is your favorite My friends, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you would like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends in the playlist. And if you would like to watch some more of my videos, here's a suggestion. And you're more than welcome to binge with this playlist as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.